Hi guys, Joe Kersey here on uh, Wednesday, April 9th, 2014, around well, about quarter of four, quarter of four in the afternoon, Eastern Time, and uh, you know, Paul's, Paul's off today, and he went and made a store run, and uh, I've been up, I've actually been up since around 1.30 in the morning, more or less. Uh, you know, some, sometimes I just wake up and I can't get back to sleep, so that's been the way it is. And I've been uh, downloading uh, these episodes from Shameless, as I referenced to y'all yesterday. Uh, Paul's been watching some of them as well, although he's got his YouTube stuff set up so differently on his computer screen that I, when he gets lost, I can't really help him. And uh, I tried. He asked me, and I tried, but I just I can't I can't figure out you know how how he got it set up that way. So you can only do what you can do, can't you? Huh? Well, there's the meal. Well, good. I didn't get killed today coming down to the mailbox. That's always good. That's always a good sign. Um, all right. Well, we got. Well, we always got to check things out here. Don't we? Well, we got some mutual fundy stuff and a, the sell bill and a bank statement for Paul so that's about as usual for this time of month uh, oh, it's a very beautiful day it's uh, well it's about 57 so uh, no leaks have developed in any of the plumbing work done thus far, you know, that was done the other day thus far. They've not developed, and I, I doubt they will. I think, I think this guy did a pretty good job. I mean, you can tell. I mean, you can tell if somebody does a good job or not, can't you, really? Um, you know, we're supposed to live in Christian hope, but I don't know if that extends to dealing with plumbers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, I'll probably show you some other things here later on here in a moment. Sure is pretty, isn't it, though? Yep. Okay, YouTubers, this is uh, the piece that I found today on the... Uh, Anglican Mainstream uh, website, and it's called. Uh, it's on a. It's on a blog called uh, Cranmer, and uh, the title of this thing. This was appeared on the 30th of March, 2014. Is called "Kill Your Idol Banned by TFL." Well, that's Transport for London, or for all. Basically, the London Underground or the London bus system, basically any of the public transport in London. And it's a work of art. Uh, it's by a fellow, uh, uh, name, uh, fellow called, uh, well, the name of the fellow who made this piece of art is Ant Anthony uh, Michael F's. And uh, they say it's a representation of the first station where Jesus is condemned to death. And uh, uh, this actually appears in uh, an exhibition of art at uh, St. Uh, uh, Marleybone's Church there in London. Uh, but... Uh, the London Underground and Transport for London usually commissions art to appear 
certain types of religious art or religious based art to appear in the, the tube stations uh, during uh, Lent and the Easter season. Uh, actually, uh, the fellow that does our art exhibitions at church uh, had a couple of these pieces in his exhibitions. Uh, but this was one that was proposed and it was turned down. And obviously, well, it's not obvious. You have to look at it a while, but it's, uh, you have uh, the, uh, the American Idol or, you know, the UK has their own idol show the same way, you know. The idol judges uh, condemning uh, Christ. I mean, they're, they're, they're throwing him off the shed. And I guess he didn't meet their expectations and so forth. And they're making a few jokes and so forth, as you can see. And uh, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting work of art, I think. Um, uh, here's the here's the website if you want to try to find it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to give you a closer in look on this. I think it's worth looking at. That's by, uh, again, that's by uh, Anthony McAuliffe. I'm going to give you a little bit more time to look at this. This is just this just isolates in on Jesus. Interesting, almost uh, you almost get like a skeletal X-ray vision view of uh, the one leg there out front, don't you? But then the blogger uh, writes. Uh, as Holy Week approaches, it is worth reflecting on how we judge the Son of God today and what precisely a modern TV audience makes of him. 